fine-tuning LLMs may just have changed forever. The ex-CTO and VP of Applied Research of OpenAI quit the company to found Thinking Machines, a new company that just released their first product. And this first product is to democratize AI trainings. In fact, they currently focused on helping fine-tuning large language models like Quen and Llama for now. Their goal is for us, the builders and researchers, to work with simple functions and be able to train our models. So we still control our algorithms, our loss functions, our data, but we delegate the work for parallelization and working with GPUs, which is honestly the hardest part and the part for expert developers and not for researchers to do. So it's really cool to have a company focus on this aspect rather than other current alternatives where you actually send your data and they train the model for you. Fine tuning is a very complicated task that often people want to try first, but in our courses or when consulting, we always advertise against it. Why? Because in most situations, current LLMs can do what you want them to do. You either want to do good prompting or add retrieval, so some kind of rag pipelines, but fine tuning a model is rarely a viable option, especially with the complexity added of managing servers and GPUs. Now, thanks to this new product called Tinker, it may be a viable option. The only thing is that you still need a curated data set, so a training and test data, and training the model is still complicated with having to set good evaluation in place and do multiple runs. It's still an expensive avenue, but viable in some case, even more with Tinker now. Still, you need to know when to fine tune a model. And to answer that, just keep in mind that fine tuning isn't to stylize your model in any way. It's rather to narrow its scope to become an expert if you have the data to train it on. So you actually need lots of data. If you don't have a lot of data to train on, you are probably better off using retrieval pipelines. But if you do have lots of data, then fine tuning might be a viable option and you may want to try Tinker. Also, another good option is if you want to fully own the model. For example, if your pipeline relies on GPT-40 and OpenAI decides to cut it and just replace with GPT-5, well, it's now a 50-50 gamble on whether GPT-5 is better for your task or if the direction OpenAI took is wrong and completely breaks your application. With fine tuning, you are stuck in time with one model and you need to retrain a new model if you are switching to a new one, but it also allows you to completely control the model and every update. So there are definitely pros and cons for fine tuning or not, and you need to decide for yourself. But if you do end up fine tuning, Thinker is a very good new option. I'm Louis-Francois, CTO and co-founder of Towards AI, and follow me for tomorrow's No BS Roundup.